First, we install the Windows Identity Foundation. You have to either download the file or activate the role in Server 2012. This may take some time. Next, we have to install the LOB adapter SDK from the BizTalk DVD. Navigate to ASDK. Depending on your architecture, you have to install x64 or x86. Next, you have to install the adapter pack for BizTalk from the DVD. In the next step, we install the Rodel BizTalk CRM adapter. Execute the setup exe. And that's it. After that, we extract the sample solution and the file drop. and cut the adapter sample folder, navigate to root, create a new folder named BizTalk and paste it there. Next step, you open up Visual Studio 2012 Create a new BizTalk solution in order to test the adapter. Name the solution Test Solution. Click OK. And the empty solution is created. Right click on the solution and navigate to add, add generated items. Next click on consume adapter service and select XRM binding. After that you click on configure, select your credential type and type in your username and password. After that you can hit OK and you see a connection string is being created. Click again on configure. Click on URI properties and enter the server name. For this demo, we have a demo CRM 2013, which is located at this server. Copy the server name and paste it. After that, we need to enter the organization name. You have to navigate in 2013 to settings, customizations, developer resources, and there is the unique organization name. In CRM online, that is very important because Microsoft can create a different alias name for an organization that is not shown in the URI. So now you paste the unique organization name. After that, go to binding properties and enter your license code and your license name.
After that, hit connect. And click on entities. On the right side, you will see every entity that is available in CRM 2013. Also, custom entities. For example, we select account. All other CRM, XRM operations are available in the adapter. If you are finished, click OK. And the schemas are created. Here's the schema for account with all lookup fields and string fields. Besides the schema, also a binding file is created which you can import into BizTalk Administration Console. Now we open up the sample solution. Navigate to your sample folder and open the solution file. The sample solution includes every operation that the adapter can execute. For example, create, update, delete, fetch, upsert, and lookup. In the schemas folder, there is ERP account, entity account, and fetch. Let's take a look at ERP account. There are all fields that are relevant for an ERP debitor. And the entity account, this is the CRM account. And this is CRM fetch schema. Now we navigate to the file drop and the sample files. Open up the sample file to see what values are included. You can see the name, the debitor number, the street, Now we take a look at the orchestration for create process. You can see a simple orchestration. The incoming message is being transformed into a CRM message and sent out by the adapter. Here's a transformation from the ERP account to the CRM account. You can see it's a simple send shape that goes to a send port. It's important to use the right operation. Here's the operation create. Now we can compile and deploy the solution. The build has succeeded. Now open up the BizTalk admin console. Expand the BizTalk group, expand the application, right click on resource, select BizTalk assembly and add the now created new DLL. It's located in the bin debug folder. Check all options and hit OK.
Now you have to restart the host instance. Now refresh your application and you will see all the orchestrations. In the next step we import the solution binding file. Right click on your application. Say yes to override. There are the send ports and the receive locations. Now we configure the send port for CRM. Change the connection string with your server name and organization name. Enter your credentials. Click on bindings. And enter your license code and license name. Now start up the solution. Everything is up and running and now go to your file drop and copy your first XML into the folder. And in the response folder the create response XML will appear. Open the response file and you will see the CRM account ID is being created. As you can see in the CRM 2013, the new account has been created. And all values are in the CRM, like debitor number, street and name. Now copy the account ID. and paste it into the next file. Now we want to change the debitor number of the account. Copy the file into the receive location. And refresh the CRM page. And the account debitor number is changed. Next we look into the orchestration for the update process. Open the orchestration and you will see the exact same process like create except that the CRM ID is being mapped to account ID. And the operation is update. That is very important. With the account ID filled and the operation update, the adapter knows what to do. Now we want to execute a fetch. The fetch statement is being created from the account debitor number. Therefore, you have to edit the XML and change the debitor number from CRM and paste it in the XML. Now copy the XML into the receive location folder.
and in the response folder there is the complete CRM account. with all fields available in CRM. Also the auto-filled fields like modified by, created on and so on. Now open up the orchestration for the fetch operation. You can see in the mapping that only the debitor number is being mapped to the value node. All other nodes are necessary for the fetch statement. Just like the other operations, you have to make sure that the operation is named fetch. Now we perform a lookup resolution. For that we have to use a parent account and the child account. So edit the XML file and change the parent account debitor number. Copy the XML into the receive location. And the response file is being created. You can see the account ID and the parent account ID. It is being automatically resolved by the adapter. Navigate in the CRM to your child account. And you can see that the parent account is being resolved. Open up the orchestration for the parent account resolution. You can see the mapping is a little bit complex. You have to add the conditions so that the adapter knows how to resolve the apparent account. This resolution is based on the debitor number of the parent account. The lookup resolution is only available with the upsert operation. Our last operation is to delete the child account. For that you have to copy the child account ID and paste it into our XML. Now copy the sample XML into your receive location. Refresh your CRM. And you will see the record is gone. Only the parent account is still there. The most important thing for developing with our adapter is to use the right operations. Use the send port operations in your orchestration and the same send port operations in your physical send port. So that's about it and